What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about 5 awesome Google Chrome Android tips and tricks for you in 2015, so let's go ahead and get started. So my favorite, which I showed in a PC video, if you don't have internet access in Chrome on Android, you can double tap the little dinosaur and you can actually play a little mini game. Uh, and for that to work on the PC, all you have to do is tap the space bar. So I thought this was a really cool little feature I wanted to throw in. It's really awesome. Coming in at number four is reduce data usage and save data on your mobile phone. So this also does allow web pages to load up a bit faster because Chrome is going to compress it. Uh, but all you have to do is go to settings, data saver, and just turn it on. Uh, pretty simple and it really works guys. It's really awesome. Coming in at number three, you can save any website as a PDF for offline reading. Uh, so to do this, all you have to do is go to print and you can go down to save and save it as a PDF. And you can go ahead and view that in the Google PDF viewer or Adobe reader app. And it'll save that to the Google um, in the cloud on your Google Drive. So this is a really awesome little feature. So coming in at number two, you can browse your memory card files from Google Chrome by going to this in your URL bar. Uh, so pretty much you can view um, all the files in there just in case you don't have a file manager or you don't want to mess with them. This is an easy way if you don't want to leave Chrome. You can also view music files. Uh, you can open them up and even play them. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So coming in at number one is a pretty cool one. So head to this in your URL. So this allows you to view all of Chrome's experimental features. You can go ahead and even turn some on and go ahead and turn some off so uh, do know that these will uh, mess up your device and it can mess it up a little bit well no, it'll mess up Chrome browser it won't mess up your device but I saw some really cool stuff in here you can actually turn on an FPS uh, thing on here on FPS counter and it'll count the FPS on pages that load up which I thought was just pretty cool there's a lot of geeky stuff in here you can mess with so to throw in a bonus one you can go to this URL and go to and it accesses all the Chrome URLs you can look at the boss device logs flags and um, profiles a bunch of other little geeky stuff syncs and all that stuff this is pretty much for debugging purposes only it's for people who so they can study the crash and hang renders and all that stuff so I thought this was pretty cool so thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you guys in the next one